Q-gel is a novel hydrogel material to culture cells in 3D and grow tissue. You may ask yourself, why grow cells in 3D? My experiments work fine in 2D. Research in regenerative medicine, cancer research, stem cells, and molecular biology often involves cultures of cells on flat, plastic dishes. It has recently become clear that considering biology in just two dimensions has serious limitations. Here we see an example of how cells expand in 2D. Placing cells on a flat surface, such as on a plastic flask surface, with the necessary soluble signaling molecules will result in a non-natural proliferation of cells on the flask surface. Because of these limitations in two dimensions, researchers are turning to three-dimensional cell culture models that more closely mimic what happens in living organisms. Using 3D culture, they are discovering patterns of gene expression and other cellular activities or responses that are much more similar to the results from in vivo studies. Cells in their natural in vivo environment assume very different morphologies than in 2D culture and are much more complex. Let's take a look at cells in their natural in vivo environment. First you have the extracellular matrix. Cells growing in the extracellular matrix are shown here. However, in vivo, multiple variants of extracellular matrix may coexist, shown here. This may provide the right environment for another cell type to grow, and perhaps another. There are many other components within the extracellular matrix that clearly show the complexity of the in vivo situation. Such factors include soluble signaling molecules, physical signaling molecules, and cell secreting proteases. The two images shown here outline the important differences in the behavior of cells grown in 2D and the actual in vivo situation. The essential cell interactions and organization levels occurring within a 3D context demonstrate the severe drawbacks of 2D studies.